Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I figured I would do like one quick one today. Um, it, I saw that Powell had decided to say that uh, that the wages are running hot. Well, considering the fact that, yeah, I understand that he's not in charge of any actual government policy. He's only in charge of trying to maintain um, overall price stability, uh, civilization, uh, yeah, pr uh, price stability within the economy. Uh, but for him to say, say, sit there and say that wages are running high, wages are not running high enough. If a per if if a person's um, if, the, if a person's uh, dollars devaluing devaluing because of sanctions on uh, countries that that we buy shit from uh, because sanctions are charging them more tax on imports and exports and stuff of that nature and because the majority of the wheat apparently that we get is from Ukraine and Russia because uh, because of the sanctions on Russia because of their um, kind of invasion of, of Ukraine I'm sorry but from what I can see and from what I've heard, they've only been attacking those towns that were overrun by Nazis. And so because the United States Army and NATO uh, trained a lot of the Nazi um, battalion there, and those Nazi battalion got their butts handed to them and had to evacuate, in other words, surrender, uh, we are still paying high prices for shit we shouldn't be paying high prices for, especially right now. And given the fact that it is not uh, United States consumers' fault that China decided to pull a uh, pull U.S. and lock down totally their economy, meaning that shipments out of China um, are taking their sweet-ass time getting here, because of the slowness of loading the said cargo ships and also because they are in lockdown. Uh, so right now, it seems like it'd be a better fit to limit the, uh, maybe limit the, uh, the um, loans given out. Uh, but keep interest rates at low because that does actually really does uh, uh, reflect uh, savings in the overall economy because when when loan prices are down, that means that prices, the st stabilization of prices in the overall economy stay at a set uh, at a set price for a certain amount of time. Now, there are places like Kroger's, uh, Safeway, and others that do gouge the crap out of consumers. So that is where uh, government uh, regulation should come in and crack down on that bullshit. And uh, like, for instance, just for instance, uh, I used to get food stamps. I no longer get food stamps because I, because I got kicked off of it because I got paid too much by Social Security. Then you know, healthcare decided to come out with this whole health uh, health food card that combined over the counter stuff and buying healthy food, only healthy food. Uh, Walmart has that shit down packed. Kroger's doesn't have shit packed as far as that part goes. Excuse my language, but I'm kind of pissed as far as this part goes because last month alone, Kroger's cost me a hundred bucks out of hundred and forty. That's a hundred and four and a hundred dollars out of 140 because they fucked up and because they didn't know how to fix it. And they claimed it was a bug. Bullshit. There is no bug within the system that is four or five months old when Walmart got it. We're now shopping at Walmart because of Kroger's fuck up and because of their inability to acknowledge the fact that they're just gouging people. I found a article from 2021 that stated that they, they called it a um, organized crime within the company. No, the company itself is an organized crime. It's not a subset of people. It's their policy on prices now. 
in regards to that, taking advantage of a government system that they probably that they probably help right. Who knows? I don't know the 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 details of that. But my point being is, apparently, uh, it was set to go up between two and three percent. This is during a pandemic. You do not want to take money away from the consumers because consumers, if they get enough taken away from them unceremoniously and unjustly, you will lose that customer base. Just like you lost me. I don't want to go to a Walmart. I mean, not the against the people who work there, but Walmart, the company itself sucks. Almost as bad as Kroger's, but Kroger's is sucking worse. Kroger's can kiss my butt. Walmart, for the moment, here I am. For Jay Powell to come out and only be, he's he's only doing this because he just got re-nominated and re voted in by the non-progressive pieces of democratic BS bullshit. People who don't don't literally do not work for a living. Do nothing they do is work. Nothing they do is work. But they're cut their, their voter base. Either they don't see this, they don't care, or they get paid not to care. I don't know. What I do know is I see. I've been on both sides of the aisle in regards to thought process, ideology, whatever have you. I used to call myself a um, social, uh, a social liberal economic conservative. And that's how I used to call myself back in the day. But then I realized all of this bullshit anyway. They don't care. My point being here is we either get on the fucking streets, not only see our demands, but make sure those demands are met. Stop voting fucking fake ass progressives. Stop stop voting democratic uh, democratic b- uh, bullshitters. Stop voting Republicans. If you want something fucking done, stop voting. That, that's what I am not doing as far as the part goes, because I know that either way, whomever is running on a progressive platform is full of shit. Newt Gingrich back in the 90s had a, uh, had a slogan, I guess you could say, a contract with America. How about progressives have a contract with progressive candidates saying, no matter what, you do not take a fucking dime from anyone other than your customer base. And it can't be corporations, it can't be, or, it can't be organizations. Because organizations can also be corporations. But people within that organization and not representing the organization, all right, cool, that's, that's a customer base right there. Or I mean, that's a, uh, a voter base. Otherwise, you don't get the fucking vote. That's my thought. That's what I'm thinking as far as that part goes. Because there's no way in hell that the Democrats are going to do shit. There's no way the Republicans want to do shit either. Whether our gun control or, I mean, the Republicans care about abortion only because of the fact that it's against their religious beliefs. Well, what happened to fucking separation between church and state? That's why that's the problem I have with Section Eight nowadays. Section Eight nowadays is so filled out with the fucking this church going bullshit. And no offense to those who do go to church. If you need faith, go right ahead. But I do not want to have it where I fucking live. If I want church, I'll go to the fucking church. Like commercials. If I want, if I want a product, I'll go f- seek out the product. I don't want to have it in my fucking face. Anyway, that's uh, my little rant for the day. <sighs> j is fucking up. Politicians, period, are fucking up, period. Stop with this bullshit. Learn MMT. Steve Grumbine yesterday, I think it was on status quo, said exactly right. The most important thing you can learn is MMT. Fuck everything else. 
learning MMT, which is the be best way to learn the economy, how the economy works, how the, how the government spending works, how taxes don't work as far as the government spending. Learn that and you have a better chance of surviving in regards to the monetary system. Thanks for watching, actually listening to this case. And what you're seeing uh, in front of you is basically like a, it's online, it's on Twitter. Um, basically, it's just saying every single time the government tried to reduce the deficit, a recession happened, basically. So anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Peace out for now. Talk to you Monday.